Hi guys. Um, it's been, okay, I have to be honest. I've already tried to do this video six times and I've just bawled hysterically. So um, I'm gonna try and do it without, I don't know, and try, I'm gonna just try and do it and just be as succinct as possible because there's a message that I wanna get across. I don't know exactly what direction this video is gonna move in um, because my mood <laughs> is so up and down and there's a lot going on. I just wanted to say hello. Um, it's been a really long time since I've done a video at all on Instagram. I used to be obsessed with Instagram. Can I consume my life? I think I've spent far too much time on the platform. Um, I've had to step away because I've had really bad mental and physical health problems. Um, I'm here, I'm actually back home. I'm on an awful lot of medication. I was a couple of days away from having part of my colon removed and diverted through my stomach. Um, yeah, and just spending time in hospital is incredibly stressful, being away from your family. But more than that, the mental side of stuff is actually 10 times worse than the physical. Oh, because it feels so much harder to control. So anyway, the reason that I'm doing this video is because, well, about five months ago, it's way too long, it's been way too long, um, I had a whole week where I was lying in bed at night and I just have, kept having all these uh, racing thoughts about uh, wanting to talk about my experience a bit because it's been really bad and not a lot of good has come from it. But the only good that can come from it is the ability to help other people. Um, yeah, and I had all these, these ideas and I just, I basically wanted to yeah, share what I've been through because despite the fact that I might look incredibly well presented, put together, happy, fit, well, um, I'm really not. And mental health is the most cruel, invisible disease ever. But I want you to know that if you're suffering, you are not alone. And there are things that you can do to make yourself feel better. So please don't give up. Um, early on when I was struggling and I was posting a little bit more about my experience, I had a few guys actually message me um, whose partners suffered with really bad perimental health and sadly they didn't have the means to um, find support and it didn't end so well. And I just, I cannot allow other people to go through that experience. So despite the fact that I'm clearly not fixed because I'm very emotional myself because I've just had like the most crazy year that you just would never predict. You never think that these things are gonna to happen to you. I had everything and it just all has been completely ripped away from me. Um, yeah, I, I am very fortunate because I've had a lot of support. I've had the support of my partner. Some people don't have that, they're single parents. I've had financial support. My family live close by. I've had the crisis team come and check on me every day for weeks, making sure that I take my medication and telling me that every day, um, that I will get better. And sometimes just that pure reassurance, even though you don't believe it at the time, is what you need. You need it drilled into your head because things can be so bad. I had no idea that things could get so bad. Just to put things into perspective. Um, I mean, there was a, a time when an aeroplane would fly over the house and every single time it would fly over, I just hoped that it would crash into the house and just obliterate us because it would be the easiest way to go. My brain was so warped. I couldn't think about anything other than death. I couldn't think about anything other than past hell um, and fear. I was scared of everything in my house. I was scared of my body. I couldn't look at my body. I couldn't look in the mirror. I couldn't look at the cupboards behind me. I didn't recognize. I didn't know that I had a child, I couldn't leave the house, I couldn't stay in bed because I was petrified of being in bed and having a continuous panic attack back to back to back. Um, I couldn't see, I couldn't smell, I couldn't talk, um, I couldn't function at all. Uh, when I would talk, I would have a, I would panic because every word that came out of my mouth didn't make sense. I would stand in the shower in the morning and every single thought was an intrusive thought. So I just, was not alive. I, I, I couldn't have a normal thought. My brain basically shut down. 
as a result of nearly dying twice when something really really um, traumatic happens to you, your brain can't process it properly so your memories get stuck um, and it means that you live in fear and fear actually I'd almost go as fast to say is worse than sadness I used to love crying because it would for a split second take me away from um, sheer torture and even anger. Anger is even an emotion that I would I would prioritise over fear. Uh, luckily I'm not in that state anymore. I have come really far and I haven't really looked back at all but now doing this video it does force me to look back a little bit and I want to give you guys some hope and not just for you to see me as a blubbering mess to think of oh, goodness you know it doesn't get any easier because it does it things change everything in life is transient seasons pass life can get better again um you will find joy you will find happiness and whether you have to take medication um that's fine that's really helped me uh please share please please share even talking um candidly about this now is helping me it gives me something to focus on gives me like a tiny bit of purpose um that isn't just standing over a cot watching my baby cry all the time and yeah please don't feel alone there are ways out um so ask for help i'm gonna find some resources for you guys i wish that there was an easier way there is no magic here this disease will teach you a great deal of patience i never had any patience <laughs> um but things do get better so you have to keep going you have to because there's too many people with physical diseases that don't have a choice whether to live or to die so please choose life um and get help. <laughs> okay.